So today, Cam, has been a really fun day. We've come out, spent the whole day, had a little bit of cooking. Grandpa's been out cooking. Yes, Grandpa's been on the barbecue. He's just been doing his snags and yeah. bacon and eggs in the morning. He loved it. <laughs> he did. And, and it was a good fun trail ride today, yeah. wasn't it? We really did enjoy it. Like, had a great loop out there. Yeah. Some of the things that you liked on that loop? Um, the tight corners and ruts, they were super fun, you know, trying to chase Dad around. It was a little bit hard with the dust, but, you know, again, you just got to look ahead and just watch where you're going and mm. you'll be fine. But yeah, definitely the ruts were really quite fun. And um, a couple of logs, I mean, I still got to get used to and how to go over a log, but yeah. um, besides that, it was, yeah, the logs were something challenging and different. I must say, I really enjoyed just sitting behind Cam and watching him learn from the morning to the afternoon, the way that you changed from morning being really tentative riding in the bush to really starting to attack it in the afternoon where I was sitting behind you going, he's getting pretty good at this, you're getting a bit faster at it. And uh, the dust was a little bit, it was a bit hot today. We yeah. had quite a hot day, but uh, how did you find the KX250X? Yeah, look, the KX250X was really quite amazing. Mm. You know, through the corners, especially with how, you know, you still got the motocross set up. Um, it was really good through the tight corners. That's where it was. Yeah. That's where you could see the improvements were. Mm. You know, through the corners because it was really just you could just put it in its position and just go there. Um, and then also, like I said, the suspension. You know, it helped because it worked so much better. Now, Chad's done a little bit of work on this. He's put some merge springs and revalved it and done a few things yeah. to make it sort of suit you a little bit more. It's yeah. still got a little bit to go, I think, with your weight. And maybe we need to do some springs. We didn't have a lot of time with Chad, but. What did you think about it? Um, look, I think the harder you rode the bike, the better the bike was, because you know, it's still very much a motocross bike. Mm. But again, that's why it was so good through the corners, because it was so much more aggressive at the front. So, you know, it was, I think it's very still much a motocross bike, but that's why it's so much better through the corners. And again, the suspension helped as well, because you know, it was tracking so much better. Yeah. And another thing I was surprised with, we, we rode oh, nearly 70 k's today just doing single trailer. And granted, we went on the pipe all the time, yeah. but it, it didn't use all its fuel. And no. this is a motocross tank. Exactly. So, you know, I think it's only a six litre tank. So the fuel injection does work quite well on this, doesn't it? Works it works amazing. So, you know, you know, you can at least do up to 75 on this and be somewhat safe and, you know, yeah. ride away from your car and be like, okay, at least I'm not pushing the bike back. Yeah, yeah, that's right. And, it was a fantastic day, something we'll do again for sure. For all you guys that want to follow us, because we're going to be riding in the next few months, check out the YouTube channel, MX TV Show. We'll put a few clips up there of where we end up on this bike and my bike, and just see how much faster you get on this thing in the bush, because I'm a bit worried. See how many more drops I can do. <laughs>